Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. If you click the link in the short today, thank you. If you're here because you come here to read the word with us every day, thank you. We're going to begin with prayer and then we can get started. If you have a Bible, please pull it out and read aloud with us. If not, use those listening ears. Today we are in Isaiah chapter 47 and we'll be reading the entire chapter 47. In my Bible, this starts on page 1006, 1006. Six. Let's begin with prayer. God, thank you so much for providing us today's word. Thank you for blessing us with another day in the community that we have to come and read your word together every day. Thank you for joining us as we read your word and just communing with us. I ask that you continue to help this community to grow and continue to provide us understanding and clarity as we read every day. And please encourage us to be bold and share what we learn each day with someone we know. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, guys, Isaiah 47 and it says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughters of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones, excuse me, and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon any Excuse me, upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this thou that art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly that saith in thy heart i am and none else beside me i shall not sit as a widow neither shall i know the loss of children but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness thou hast said none seeketh me thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted me excuse me have perverted thee and thou hast said in thine heart i am and none else beside me therefore shall evil come upon thee thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, thou, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee who, excuse me, Unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. Amen. Um, this word today is inspired by um, quite a few things I've seen that just disturb my spirit today. I hope the word touched someone today, and I hope you're encouraged to share it with someone else. Um, I hope all those listening um, who unfortunately are partaking in astrology, divination, witchcraft, spell work, things of those nature of that nature. Um, it is an abomination to Christ and it's found multiple times throughout the Bible. Uh, this particular um, scripture just lets you know that if you partake in these things, 
They cannot save you from God's wrath. Because they're an abomination to God, they will not be able to help you or save you when his wrath comes upon you. Now, you always have the ability to repent and turn away from your sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness. And because Christ came and died on the cross for us, um, you shall be forgiven. Uh, you just have to ask for it through repentance and the Lord will forgive you as long as you ask for it and turn away from those sins. I just encourage everybody to read the Bible for yourself. Do not be dismayed by others, especially on YouTube right now or across the internet, who are misleading people and making them believe that Christianity is some sort of witchcraft that we are partaking in. It is completely not true. Our Bible um, also informs us that our God is a jealous God and there shall be no other God before him. That doesn't just include idolatry, but that does include anything that keeps you from having a relationship with Christ. And anything that is an abomination to Christ would keep you from having a relationship with him. That includes the astrology, um, the divination, the spell work, witchcraft, Wiccan, um, stargazers, as I said, the monthly prognosticators. These type of acts are complete abomination and they do not please God. And anything unpleasing to God can um, Unfortunately, get you his wrath and I don't know about anybody else but I do not want to experience that and I don't want even the people I don't know to experience that either because they're being misled or given wrong information please take the time out to read the Bible yourself even if it may be hard to understand you always have the opportunity to call on God and ask him for clarity and understanding so that you can understand what you are reading and sometimes it does help to read a scripture more than once and as you're reading write down um, eat, as you're reading each verse or each sentence write down what you think it means until you receive the clarity and understanding that you're supposed to get from that scripture please do not be dismayed or partake in these things uh, because it will lead unfortunately to death and I don't want to see anyone end up in God's wrath because you have been misled. Um, may God bless you. We're going to close with prayer and I pray to see you guys tomorrow. God, thank you so much for providing us today's word. Please provide clarity and understanding to anyone who comes across this video. Please continue to allow it to spread so that everyone can know that partaking in things like astrology and witchcraft and spell work and divination and wiccans and things of that nature is an abomination to you and you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life please help everyone to understand that they have the opportunity to repent and turn away from those sins and live a a righteous life in you Lord I ask that you provide everyone who takes my advice to read the Bible themselves uh, clarity and understanding so that they can understand your word God the word says that the gospel is hidden from those that are lost I ask that you find anyone who comes across this video God remember us all God even me God forgive me of my sins today as I sit here and spread your gospel for I know that I am not a perfect person and I do not claim to be and I ask that you forgive me and help me to forgive others as I want to be forgiven as your word says that we must forgive as we want to be forgiven. God, I ask that you bestow upon everyone under the sound of my voice the clarity, the understanding, the encounters that you've provided me to strengthen my relationship with you. I ask that you give that grace to others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Be obedient. Read your word. And please do not be misled. God bless you. Bye.